Okay, we're ready to go. Right. I'm gonna have to roll my sleeves up for this one because it gets a bit, I'll take my rings if it gets a bit, oh. gets a bit muddy. I'm not gonna get my jacket dirty, am I? No. <laughs> So what sort of clay is this? Because you made your own clay, I know. You, yeah, this, is just, this is just bog standard from Pottery Crafts. It's like a school modelling clay, it's called. It's like red earth and like it's, it's very cheap, but it's, uh, it's it does the job. Right. Because it's like disposable. In, in so this is not the clay that you're going to use the actual... No, it's gold stoneware. Yeah. No. So it, 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 it'd just be a good waste of money to, to model the, the solid head in, in, in it. It's more, a lot more expensive. Yeah. So I'm still trying to get my head around how exactly how you're going to do this. So this clay, which is cheap modelling clay, as you, as you say, yeah, this is going to be you're going to make a sculpture of the head with yeah, that. in solid clay, in solid clay, and, and then that's, that's later to take a plaster mould from it, yeah, and then we'll use the plaster mould to press sheet clay into it, the stonework clay, yeah. to make the actual head that's going to be fired in the kiln. So this clay will never be put in the kiln? No. No. No, it's, this will be thrown away once we've got the plaster mold. This will be like kind of thrown away. Okay. Just kind of get that kind of there. Yeah, more or less. So your cardboard profile is going to, in fact going to sit in the middle it of is. the sculpture. You yeah. never take that out? No. Mm -hmm. No, that's a Looks fun. Hmm. Might be back at school, isn't it? Playing with you. Yeah, well, it is being with you. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a little poke just to Play see what it. it feels like. Oh, yeah. It's quite dry, isn't it? I thought it'd be kind of. Yeah, it's quite fun. Yeah. yeah. It's a big, sort of lumpy process, this, isn't it? It's it not, is, yeah. not very delicate, if no. I'll be, be so bold. It isn't. Mm. It looks bloody awful when you first start, you think, am I going to ever get it? Sorted, but it gets there. It's just, you just be patient and keep putting bits on. And so your task here then is to imagine it, its in, width. In, yeah, in three dimensions. That's that's what the difficult part with sculpture is. For, I think for any human being to imagine space mm. in three dimensions, drawing something onto a piece of paper, just two dimensional, is pretty much easy. But you can, see, you can feel the lip there then. Yeah. Underneath, so we've kind of got, you kind of got the bottom lip there and the chin already. So you've got the move until you feel the card. Yeah, when you reach the cardboard, you know that, that you're at the proper place. For the yeah, paper. exactly. That's why it's just so much quicker to be able to model doing it like this. What about this other side then? This dimension here. How do you? measure that i mean do you have to have like it, a it, width or no it just it just gradually comes on once you get the mouth in and the the front profile it, it kind of just suggests itself in a way this is just like the underpinning so i can push stuff on top of it i'm just going for the front profile first of all mm. we can do the rest of the rest will come just if you ever turn it there and back there and back just to keep the each side roughly the same width and same amount of clay on each side So in your mind now you can sort of feel the whole piece, can you? Or, yeah, starting or? to come together. It's just a question of... So you've got, I mean, you're, you've got your profile to help you, but there's still, I mean, a hell of a lot of inventing going on here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nose, the famous Gauguin nose. Don't forget to get the hooked bit in. Yeah, we've got the bridge down. Oh, it's beginning to look like a face anyway. <laughs> yeah. Just getting a gradual feel for it. Feel the parameters are. Right. But this is a basic solid head for moulding. I would have to take it off here, 
of the base. This will be cast separately and the head will be cast separately in four parts, plaster mould. Yeah, but are you pleased with it? Yeah, I think it's come out okay. Needs a little bit of refining, but that can do that once we've got the plaster mould basic. Right. Because I've got to put the eyebrows on, but the, the brows go on, the little beard goes on separately with bits of soft clay once I've got it out of the plaster mould because the fine details are lost in the mould, so uh -huh. all the seams will be taken off. And yeah. What, what sort of this? Is this like the stranger? This is, it, you see it in the, um, in the original? Yeah, it's just like the striations. Hair or I think it's the striations in the actual uh, bandage, actually. It's the, it's the bandage. It's just like little striations in it. Oh, and these are just yeah. crudely done. These will be gone over and sharpened up once I've got it out of the plaster mould because that's been done by hand. This is just a, a guide for me. Once I get it out of the mould, yeah. the hollow head, I'll get the back end of a paintbrush and I'll just draw those in more deeply so they'll hold the glaze and they'll show like that as they are there. They won't show. Right. They, they'll be buried in the glaze yeah. so there'll be more. So there's no handle on this yet. And no the, handle the, on the it. The bottom's a different bottom. Yeah. But um, so yeah, that, as that, you say, that, it's, it's, a, it's a sculpture, isn't yeah, it? It's, it is, yeah. That, that'll be modelled separately and slipped on. The handle will be modelled separately and slipped on. Yeah. Because you can't do it all in one piece in one mould, you see, it wouldn't, wouldn't pull out. Right. Rather good, I think. 